This is 275 George Street, and this is how we scaffolded it. This was a reclad job, and a lease was being renewed, and the non combustible cladding had to come off the building. The client wanted the visual representation to stand out from the other tenderers so that they could actually overlay the different forms of access onto the building. With over 500 employees that used the building daily, there was obviously considerations that need to be taken into account for how they were going to interact with the forms of access that were going to be put on there. This is how we did it. We built a digital twin of the building. We had to walk around for about 12 hours using the scanning technology that we've got, captured all the data, and then we were able to use that digital twin to then overlay mask climbers, swing stage, hung scaffolds. That was all packaged together and submitted to the client so that part of their tender was able to show representation of what the impacts of the site was going to be. The added benefits of having that digital twin is the accuracy. So that scan data and point cloud is within 0.02 of a millimeter. So you're actually able to get precise measurements for the cladding contractors, the craneage and the interactions that the crane was going to have on the street for traffic control. The whole project management process benefited from having this digital twin just because of the wide ranging uses that it can have. We spent 40 grand on the tendering process and we covered about 20 grand in costs. We knew it was going to cost us a shitload of money to go through this process to do it, but we did it anyway because we were interested in, in them being successful. So we wanted to put in our best foot forward, give them a good understanding so that when they won the job, it helped us because we were already 10 paces down the road.